on your old style square top chin rests, you have a fixation arm that is different than others and it requires a target that's in the shape of a Z. If you don't have this one, then your fixation is basically obsolete. This type won't really help you. So if you don't have one of these, they don't make them anymore, then you might as well remove your fixation arm. And while you're there, if you're no longer using your ruby lens, you can remove that also. We're going to take this off and this off. There's a screw on either side. Just slide your ruby lens holder one side or the other. When it comes out, it's going to have a spring and a plastic contact on the end. You won't need those. You won't need any of this. You can put your screw back in. To take your fixation arm off, you'll need to remove four screws. These two. And these two. With a thin edged screwdriver. Then you can remove the top plate, turn it over to the side, and on this side there's a screw that, that holds this bar that your fixation carriage rests on. We're going to remove this screw. You don't have to completely remove it, just raise it up high enough. You can start sliding your carriage guide over. You can turn it while you're moving it to the side. You just pull it out or move your carriage over to come out of the bar. In this carriage you have two springs and two contacts. One spring is for your hot voltage. The other spring and contact are for your carriage mover. We'll take this completely out. We don't need it anymore. You can either slide your bar back in, tighten up your screw to leave it in, or you can take it out. Screw this back in below flush. If you wanted to take this knob there's a little pin on this side. It's not a screw, it's a pin. 
just raise it up. Get something small to pull it up, pull the pin up. Then you can unscrew. This. And you can push this rod back in. Actually, it doesn't push all the way in, so you might as well leave it on. To get it back on, just screw it back in. Push your pin back down. Now on the bottom of the pin, there's two little grooves on each side. It's got to go in straight in with the grooves on each side because those fit right in the groove on your knob. If it doesn't go down flush, it's not down all the way. Once it's down all the way, it'll keep your knob from coming in and out. Got all that? Clean all this up. Put your four screws back in. And you'll have a cleaned up chin rest.